The promoted last year now suspended indefinitely without pay. A high ranking Border Patrol agent in Laredo is still being held without bond, accused of killing a mother and child. Supervisory agent Anthony Burgos remains in the Webb County Jail tonight. The victims, a woman that police say he was involved with romantically and a one year old boy. Jesse DeGriato reports on a crime that has left Laredo and U.S. Border Patrol agents in a state of disbelief. Such a serene setting for a brutal crime so close to the Rio Grande. It was apparently agents from the Laredo North Border Patrol Station that made the discovery. Uh, we called 911. Laredo police say the caller was a supervisory Border Patrol agent, Ronald Anthony Burcos Aviles, 28, a nine year veteran, now facing two counts of capital murder. Connecting him with the victims, Griselda Hernandez, 27, and her one year old son, Dominic, his body discovered nearby didn't take long after detectives went to her family's home. In fact, they revealed the name of the, of the victim and the name of the suspect. So this, was, this happened within the first hour or so of the investigation. Whether the suspect is the boy's father isn't yet known, but... Again, right now, just what we've obtained from the from the families that they have an intimate relationship. At a news conference Tuesday, they wouldn't talk about how the mother and child were killed, other than it was a brutal crime with obvious signs of violence. But they did say the investigation has just begun. There's more evidence to collect and interviews to conduct. Too early to talk about a motive or if it'll be a death penalty case. The last one in 2012 was the first in Webb County in 25 years. U.S. Border Patrol saying the capital murder charges against one of their own is both inexcusable and reprehensible. It hits us all very hard because it is not indicative of the men and women that we see out there day in and day out uh, doing this job and putting their lives on the line to, to protect this country. Jesse DeGollado, KSAT 12 News.